Hi now, Graham from Penguin Motors here. Today we're going to do a dyno test on a Ford Pinto cylinder head and camshaft upgrade and see where we go. The cylinder head itself belongs to a client of mine Ross, he currently has a completely standard Ford Pinto engine in his kit car. The only modifications being he's got a pair of 40mm side drive carburetors. He's looking for a bit more go, so he's purchased his cylinder head. It's a big valve injection head. Uh, from memory, it's got big, big 46mm inlet valves. Uh, it's got oversized exhaust valves, and I've chosen for him a Phase 4 Newman cam. The cam is quite mild. The reason being, he's not a racer, he doesn't want to scream around at 8,000 RPM, and in any case, the bottom end of the engine isn't up to it. The head itself has been skimmed quite heavily, so it's got a 43cc combustion chamber, which on a standard bottom end with a standard thickness gasket will give him about 10.9 to 1 compression. While it's on here, what I should do is I should optimise the cam timing by the vernier, and then when it's done, he's ready, he can just take the whole cylinder head, plonk it on his engine, Drop the belt on as if it's standard, not having to worry about Vernier's degree wheels and timing the cam because if the cam's right on this bottom end, his is the same spec, his is like this has never been skimmed, it's going to be very, very close to where it needs to be. The other thing we're going to do while we're in here, but currently the engine is fitted with a pair of 40mm side drive carburetors, a lie. Currently on the engine are 45s, these are 40s. Now Ross has 40s, but what we're going to do. We're going to run it up on these 45s first because they're what I last ran, they're what's connected to the dyno, they're already jetted pretty close to where this cam needs. We're going to bed the cam in on these, dyno it on these. They're currently fitted with 34mm chokes. I will try a 36mm choke, to be honest, I don't think it will make any more power on the 36s, but we're going to try them. And then we're going to put it on the 40s. We're going to do this for a couple of reasons. One, it's interesting, it'll be interesting to see. Even on a completely standard engine, I found a pair of 45 millimeter carbs will give four, maybe five horsepower more than the 40s. And obviously with this engine, with its upgraded head and its upgraded cam, the power difference should be bigger. It would be interesting to see what the difference is. And then Ross can decide whether he really wants to spend a thousand pound upgrading to bigger carburetors, or if he's gonna stick with the 40 mil ones he's currently got. In fact, what we might also do, just out of curiosity, is try the same engine on a 3236. If you compare a completely standard engine on a 3236 to the 40s and 45s, there is no power difference whatsoever up to about 4,000 RPM. With a modified head and cam, I would expect that to change slightly, but at very low revs, I imagine the 3236 will match anything the bigger carbs have to offer. But as the revs go up, the power difference is going to differ. So what we're now going to do, I'm going to pop the cam cover on, hold it at two and a half thousand revs for a while, warm the, which will probably warm the engine up, but at the same time, bed the cam in, and then we can make some power pulls and see where we go. Okay boys, let's make some noise. So let's see what we got. We got there the first, first power run of the day. Let's have a look at the actual torque numbers. First test, we pulled out a peak of 146.1 pound foot torque and a peak of 162 horsepower. 
and to put that into perspective, I'm now going to get it up on a graph and I'm going to overlay a graph of a completely standard engine with the same intake and exhaust system and you'll see the difference that the headwork and the cam made. So from 3000 RPM on upwards, big gains in torque and obviously big, big gains in horsepower. We've lost a little bit low down, but that's, that's actually not much. And given that we've got this much more power out here and that much torque there, that's a small consequence, certainly in a lightweight car. What I'm gonna do you now is I'm gonna do another run. And here I've loaded a previous run. And as we work the engine, we do the dyno test, it will lay the new result over the top of the old. It won't be much different, but when we make changes to the engine, it allows us to see in real time, straight away, whether it's made any difference. Okay, boys, let's make some noise. Pumps on, ignition on, throttle, start up. We're now at wide home throttle. The dyno is holding the RPM there. Auto test button, release it, and we'll see the data. There's not a lot of difference because the engine spec was unchanged from run to run. But as we can see, it went up there, it's overlaid a new graph on top of the old bomb. And if we had have made tuning changes to the engine, we would have been seeing bigger differences. But you always get the slight variation from run to run. But there you are talking minimal one pound foot, half a horsepower. The difference on that graph looks a lot bit bigger than it really is. But an engine is a living, breathing thing. It's got heat, it's got temperature, so these things affect it. So that's that test done. We've got a comparison here between this cylinder head and cam combination and the big 45 D-Series carburetors compared to a standard engine, the standard engine being in the red. The 45 millimeter carburetors are actually bigger than what my client has on his car. What I'm gonna do, next I'm gonna do, is fit these smaller 40 mil carbs, run it up, see the power difference with the smaller carbs, and then my client can make the decision whether he wants to stick with what he's got or whether he wants to spend the money and do the upgrade. In my opinion and experience, that head really needs the big carbs it's currently fitted to get the best from it. But it's not my money I'm spending. So stay tuned for another video and we'll give you the back-to-back -back difference. That head, that cam, that engine, those carbs against these. Watch your space.